listen to my words and heed to my advice. Come back home. Simple. <laughs>
um, many of our people, because of some reasons which are very valid, they say they are not bringing their wealth back home because government of the southeast is not accommodating enough they don't provide that in conducive environment for business to strive the exploitative mentality is just way out of hand and that's why they decide to sojourn and remain wherever they are but i'm not trying to be ethnicity here although the person that published or sent the video or, uh, 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 you know, the person that recorded the video actually was quite emotional talking about ndibo and destruction of their businesses watch <laughs> This is 23 Road Market. Government may scatter all the whole stuff for 23 Road. And it belongs to Igbo people, not even a Yoruba. Yoruba don't sell all these shops finished. Now Igbo get them. Now they are destroying it. And the owners of these shops, they are not around. And they are destroying it. They are not around. They are destroying it. 23 Road Market. This is it. First stack. Anywhere these people, their children are, they will die one by one. They will die with their mother and their grandmother one by one. These are evil people's sweat. When I see some of these things, I it bleeds my heart. My heart bleeds. It breaks my heart into. It shreds my spirit, because this is one of the reasons why I am doing what I am doing. I'm trying to encourage my people to come back home. There is nothing much better and greater than being at home, because if you we are from this part of the world, from the Igbo land, and you invest your business here. No government can just wake up one morning and start destroying your business. It is not possible. It is not possible. It can happen. Now, I am an Anambra state government will not go into a market or come to a street and start demolishing people's businesses just like that. It's not possible. You cannot do that in Igbo land. Okay? It's not possible. Now, you see the lamentation. You see the cry. You see the wailing. Our people have cried so much and i'm let me tell you let me refresh your mind again that previously we've seen um our our forefathers before us our fathers not even just our grandfathers and our parents some of you were even alive to witness what happened immediately after the nigerian biafran war they tried to reduce our people to 0.0, .0 after taking away their properties destroying they gave them 20 pounds that is for few few people that were able to get that 20 pounds now our people have gone out to strive our people have gone out to make an, a life out of their lives and now this is what they get and you know before the war our people invested heavily outside nigeria that's why i say that my people are the biggest one nigeria carriers they show that it okay they, they are the one that express it in practical terms this one nigeria of a thing but they are always the biggest victim of this one nigeria so if they are going to learn let them learn like i said we should understand our differences and not just overlook our difference and th that was the mistake of zeke when he had this conversation with amadu bello amadu bello um, replied him when he told um, zeke told amadu bello that um let us forget our differences and fight together as one nigeria but amadu bello told him in practical terms that we shouldn't forget our differences rather we should understand our differences Ndibu, understand the differences you have with other people in Nigeria. Your situation is not as same as that. They see you as conquered people. They see you as dejected people. And for the fact you are striving despite reducing you to 0, 0.00 and you have gotten up and you are making marks, you are progressing massively. You understand that? So we should start thinking home. And I must say to the government of Nigeria that have not added any value. And I must tell you, this destruction of these shops will have adverse effect on the state and the people of Lagos State. So I don't want to make it look like it is ethnicity or something like that. But the truth of the matter is that our people are suffering outside Igbo land. And it is high time all these organizations, associations, we have Igbo Association, why can't they look into it and persuade government to stop destroying their properties? And perhaps think home. That is all I can tell you. Think home. Thank you for watching this far. Share this video. Let our people get this message. There is only one place you have as your home, and that is your home. Any other place, you are a second hand fiddle.
you can never be first class citizen i must tell you that okay thank you for watching this far share this video like it and let's have your opinion about it let our people begin to understand their position okay may god bless you all all our people striving everywhere around the world may god bless whatever you're doing and may you also have wisdom to think home this is bb channel one where we see the truth we say the truth like share subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on all our social media platform i'm also Jeanette peters you can still follow me on my private blog asos blog on all social media platforms instagram facebook twitter and the rest of it stay safe